Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make a Game Pass 4 Please Donate on mobile. So if you want to make a Pass 4 Please Donate so that you can actually play Please Donate on mobile and get Robux, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it in this video today. So it's pretty simple, so let's hop right into the video. So first things first, you have to keep in mind that we're not going to be going to the Roblox app, but we're going to be going to a, a browser. So I'm going to be using Safari, but you can use Google Chrome, Brave, whatever you want. Now, once you go over to Safari, you're going to want to search for Roblox.com and go ahead and head over to the website. Now, you're probably going to have to log in if you haven't logged in on the Safari before. So go ahead and do that real quick. You want to click continue in browser and it'll bring you to this page here. You want to log in real quick. Now, once you log in, it's going to bring you to this page right here. Now, once it brings you to this page, what you're going to want to do, as you can see, it, do it doesn't want to let you onto Roblox. You're going to want to click continue in browser right below continue in app. And once you click on that, it's going to bring you to this page here. Now, once you're on this page, you want to click on the two A's in the bottom left corner of the screen. It might be different if you're on a different browser. You want to click on that and you want to request a desktop site for that browser. So go ahead and do that. It should be available on every single browser. And it'll change a little bit, but not really. But once you do that, you're going to want to click on create, which is one of the top options, one of the four options at the top of your screen. Now, once you click on create, it's going to bring you to this page here, create.roblox.com. You can also just search that up as well if you can't find the option. And then once you're here, you're actually going to want to find your username's place. Everybody should automatically have a place on their experiences. So go ahead and find that. And once you find it, you're going to want to click on it. Now, once you, you don't want to actually click on it, but you want to click on it. And you want to click on the three dots in the top right corner of that place. And once you do that, you're just going to want to open a new tab. So once you do that, it's going to be this page here. And as you can see, it shows a couple of things. But what you actually want to do, once you're on the over, you want to click on the three lines in the top left corner of the screen, and it'll show these options right here. Now, once you're on these options right here, you're going to want to scroll down until you see the option for associated items in the content subsection. Once you find associated items, you want to go ahead and click on it. And once you click on it, it's going to bring to this page associated items. Now, on this page, what you're going to want to do, it has three options right here. You want to look for the passes option. Now, once you find passes, you're just going to want to click create a pass. And once you do that, it's going to load for a bit, and then you can put an image if you want to, but you don't have to. You can put in the name of your pass, so you just go ahead and do that real quick. And then once you've done that, you can put in a description. So I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe, please. If this video is helpful, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe, so go ahead and do that right now. But once you've done that, you can click create pass. Now you're almost done, but after you've done that, what you're going to want to do, you want to click on the pass one more time, and then click on the three dots in the top right corner of the pass or you actually just want to head over to the pass. Now once you're in the pass, there's a couple options here. You want to click on the three lines in the top left corner of the screen once again, and you want to go over to sales. Now once you go over to sales, you can put a price for this item. You want to turn on item for sale real quick, and then you can put it in a price. So you can put in whatever you want. Once you do that, you can just click save changes, and it'll load for a bit, and then it will actually have posted it to Roblox. So now you can go and play Please Donate, and you will have a pass that people can buy. So if this video is helpful, if it was, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll see you guys next time.